What's up, y'all, and welcome to another episode of My Iridescent Lifestyle. Thank y'all so much for coming to hang with your girl. You know I appreciate y'all. Today, this video is for my baddies on a budget. I will be trying out a dip powder nail kit for the first time to see if I can achieve salon quality nails at a low price. So stick around for the final reveal. So here I'm doing my basic nail prep work that I do in all of my nail videos, pushing back my cuticles, making sure that I'm removing any of that dead skin, um, because again, that is key for getting any type of nail enhancement to last. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just take my e-file and lightly buff the top of my nail just to get the shine off. With this dip powder kit, it did come with four different dip powders. I opted for the light pink. So we're gonna go ahead and try it out. You're gonna go ahead and use the step one and that is a quick drying glue. So you wanna apply that as quickly as possible, not too much, and then go ahead and dip your finger in at a 45 degree angle. So the first thing I noticed is that the jars are really small, so it's hard to get that 45 degree angle without making a huge mess. So just keep that in mind when you are buying these kits that the sizes of the dip powder is generally pretty small. Um, so you wanna be careful with that so that you're not making a huge mess. But you wanna go ahead and just repeat the process for all 10 of your fingers. After dipping each nail, you wanna take your brush and just lightly pat the nail and clean around the nail and your finger before you add any more product. Here you can see where it was a little hard um, to get my thumb into the dip powder without spilling it, but also making sure that you covered the whole fingernail. So that's what I mean when I say the jars are small. So you're gonna to continue to follow the same steps generally about three to four times. You may need to do more. It all just depends on the desired thickness that you would like to achieve. So I did about four rounds and I got a pretty natural thickness, not too thin, not too thick, and I was pretty pleased with it. Quick tip that I just thought of, um, make sure that when you're dipping your nail for each round, start at the top and dip it in slightly and then do another coat and go down a little bit further so that that way, by the time you get down to your cuticle, it's not super bulky. going to begin with the number two and that is the activator and you're just going to lightly take that and apply that to each nail to actually harden the product. Next you want to take your hand file or your e-file and go ahead and refine the shape of your nails as well as clean up any areas that you may have any excess product around the cuticles. Next, you're gonna take bottle three, which is the dip powder top coat. You're gonna to apply that to your nails and let air dry for 60 seconds. So my final thoughts on this kit is it's super affordable. It's really nice. I enjoy it. It's very simple to apply. Um, I learned some things not to do and what to do. So I'm looking forward to perfecting it, but 
here's the final result and i think that this is a good kit for a baddie on a budget so if you got this far in the video thank you guys so much for watching make sure that you like comment share and subscribe and as always live an iridescent lifestyle